In this video, we'll take a look at how to implement a connection and credential alias using a username and password, also known as basic auth. We'll start by navigating to connections and credentials, connections and credential aliases. Next, we'll click new to create a new record. In the form, we'll give this alias a name, demo. The remaining fields can remain as is. The alias is for connection and credential. It's an HTTP connection and we'll use the default retry policy. All that's left to do is save our work. In the connection related list, we'll click new to create a new connection to our other ServiceNow instance. We'll give it the name of the other instance and in the credential field, we can either choose from an existing credential or create a new one. Since we haven't connected to this instance before, we'll create a new one by clicking the magnifying glass and clicking new. A list appears with the various types of credentials that we can create. We won't get into all of them here, but I invite you to check out the link in the description below titled Create and Test Your Credentials. For now, we'll click Basic Auth Credentials. We'll give the credential a name. Let's use the host and username for our basic auth. We'll add the username and the password and click Submit. And finally, we put in the connection URL. For most cases, this is the base URL used to access APIs. However, check the documentation with each service. We click Submit on the connection record and there we are. That's it. Basic Auth is, well, pretty basic. Let's take a look at the next video to see how an API key is implemented.